So many of you already know that Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling has gone full mask off and she is a turf and she's loud and uh, proud about it. She hates trans people. She wants you to know she hates trans people and she uh, will tweet about it constantly nonstop. But she's taking her hatred of trans people to the next level to, I guess, prove how much of a threat they pose to women. Because we got this article from Pink News that uh, shines a light on her next effort to demonize trans people. Quote, J.K. Rowling's latest book is about a murderous cis man who dresses as a woman to kill his victims. We get it. You hate trans people. But you have millions upon millions of dollars. Do you really think they pose this big of a threat to you? For whatever, like, threat that you believe they pose to women, which is no threat, but for whatever threat that you believe they actually pose, what's more of a threat? You demonizing them and antagonizing this vulnerable community, drumming up hatred and possibly encouraging people to do violence against them or the threat that they pose? Like if anyone's in danger here, it's because of what you're doing. You're getting people to hate trans people. You're getting people to think that trans people pose a threat to them and pose a threat to women in particular. Like, this is literally indistinguishable from what we see Republicans doing. They create this bathroom predator myth so that way we deny rights to trans people. And what does this end up doing? It makes it seem like trans people are this villain and we have to take action to protect against these trans people who are just preying on women. It's just downright disturbing. And, you know, for whatever you want to say with regard to cancel culture... J.K. Rowling should be canceled because of this, and I'm not afraid to say that. So the article goes on to explain, The first review for Troubled Blood describes it as a book whose moral seems to be Never trust a man in a dress. According to The Telegraph, the meat of the 900-page novel is an investigation into a cold case, the disappearance of a woman in 1974 believed to be a victim of a cis male serial killer whose modus operandi is dressing as a woman. The second in the series, The Silkworm, has previously been criticized over its depiction of a trans character described as un stable and aggressive. Yeah, so this is disgusting. It's disturbing. Because it's not like she's just like trying to create a story and, you know, one of the characters just so happened to be a trans person. Like she is trying to whip people into a frenzy and get them them to think that men who wear wigs, you know, that is just a cause for concern. Because she doesn't actually believe that trans women are women. So to her, they pose a threat to you. And, you know, since this bathroom predator myth doesn't actually bear out in reality, like since trans people aren't actually a threat to cis people or to women, um, she's trying to, like, prove that they're a threat by getting her fears to be projected onto the pages of this book so people kind of realize, oh, wow, maybe I should be afraid of trans people. Or according to them, uh, men in wigs men who dress up as women because that's what trans people are to jk rowling like it's just this disgusting she's a despicable human being she's a piece of shit uh and you know for how much money she has you'd think that she'd be concerned with other things rather than trying to make the lives of trans people hell when it's already hell but i mean uh, this is someone who is just a disgusting human being i think that uh someone on twitter put it best that she called Jeremy Corbyn a hateful individual, and here she is publishing this book where she is demonizing trans people. And again, it's not like, oh, well, she's just trying to tell a story. We know what she's trying to do. This is her anti-trans agenda in an art form. Yeah, well, fuck your art and fuck your books. You're a terrible person. Wet, 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 wet,